All right, YouTube, what I am up to today is building a um, designed mobile chicken tractor. to move the chickens around on the farm uh, they're gonna go from um, well they're following the, the cattle that are here on the farm about two or three days behind them and they're going to peck and scratch and uh, eat up all the bugs and keep the flies and and pests and um, eat some grass and do all kinds of good stuff just being uh, ecologically responsible with our chickens as our uh, laying flock is grown from 50 to 150 and uh, that's where we're at and I felt that uh, having that volume of, of chickens and uh, in a single spot last year was a little um, too much for for the property so we're gonna be moving uh, to a different design and uh, this is what we got so uh, we have a trailer and uh, we're gonna extend it out on the sides uh, should be about um, yeah, that should be about all the supplies minus the uh, the steel that we're going to put onto it. So um, watch and, and see how it goes and um, I'll inter interject a couple of times and try to show you and keep you uh, understanding on, on what it's looking like. So let's see how, how artsy I can get and how creative I can and be with, um, with the, uh, the tools that I have here. So see how it goes. Wish me luck. So what I got done so far are uh, doubled up the tires, put a whole bunch of spacers in between them uh, just to get twice as much width on the tire um, so there's half as much pressure down on, on any place um, impacting it. Uh, just got the bottom frame down, um, ended up being 18 inches extra on this side and um, that is, I guess I didn't measure, but um, this is going to be the short side and then we're gonna have the tall, I think this is gonna be the nine foot, and that'll be two foot. Um, so, a little bit of progress, we'll keep moving. So things are coming along. We got uh, a lot of the frame put together. We are eight feet tall on this side. We're going three feet tall on this side. Um, and then it is 10 feet by 12 feet, 10 feet wide, 12 feet long. And uh, that is 18 inches on this side, and the remainder um, from the, uh, I can't remember how wide the trailer is, but if that's 18 inches, that must be 28, 30, something like that. Um, we are putting on the, the side, the framing. We're gonna put tin up. We got tin put up on the side. So those are eight foot by three foot. That'll go up nicely on our eight foot side. Um, just putting the reinforcements and and that we're gonna put a door right here on this side right where the saw is And then we're going to put a chicken door an electronic chicken door on this side so that way when we tow it along we can uh, Make sure everybody's in where they're supposed to be uh, the nesting box is going to be over here on the left hand side and um, that's going to be um, or the floor is going to be reinforced with some extra lumber on, on the bottom here to uh, make sure we don't fall through. And yeah, the roof is going to have um, tin as well. And then there's going to be roosts that are going to come from um, this level up to, uh, well, right about where I'm standing. That way it gives me headway uh, to walk through here. So um, I would guess that we're about... I don't know, right about the midway point as far as time put into it. I've got an hour and a half today, probably another four hours yesterday, and then uh, probably about another five hours the day before. So 10 hours in or so, uh, got another 10 hours to go. Um, total project cost is looking to be about, I don't know, 15 or $1,600, I'd guess. Um, trailer was 
300 or $400. And then the lumber, uh, that run cost um, $550. The tin was another $350. And then um, the chicken door, that was uh, $150. So, and I imagine I got a couple more dollars to go into it before it's all said and done, but um, looking looking pretty good and well on our way to being complete. So I'll check back after we get a little bit more progress completed. All right, we are on day three, I believe, of working on this bugger. And we have uh, the roosts in place, so uh, the chickens with the uh, lower end of the pecking order will be on the, on the short end of this. And then uh, as the pecking order um, increases to the top chicken, uh, they'll be up at the top of this. And that's kind of how they, they put their hierarchy. Um, for the roof, um, we've got the slant, that way we reduce the amount of um, wind exposure and the amount of weight that we're putting on our tires out on pasture, even though they're double wides or, or side by sides on either, um, either side of the axle. But um, yeah, because of the uh, coronavirus and because we are uh, stuck on the farm or trying to reduce our exposure, uh, we are, um, I should have ordered more 10 foot trusses or 10 foot pieces that way we can um, extend across the whole roof but uh, my poor planning said that I needed a lot more eight footers so I'm just going to make do and and uh, join them halfway um, up the uh, up the um, roof line there so yeah we are kind of getting close to the skeleton being completed we're going to um, finish up the couple of trusses across the top. I've got I think five more of those to put put together and then uh, We're gonna look at starting to um, Get into the metal so we're gonna put the sheet metal on um, Cover it up. There's gonna be a door uh, Entrance right here, and then I've decided to move the I wanted this door entrance on this front side But I think that it's gonna do a little bit better around the corner. So we'll put this door right here and uh, hopefully we have enough, enough scrap wood and, and pieces here to get us through it. So let's see how we do in the next couple of hours. Get you updated when that time comes. I don't know if that was recording. The dogs are sleeping. They're loving life. Uh, right now, framing's just about done. I need one more piece uh, to connect between um, the center and the uh, end there. Um, we're going to work on getting the floor in. We're going to use some staples, um, tack them in in, in uh, places, uh, keep predators from getting in. And then uh, the wheel well there, we're going to uh, try to secure that up with some mesh net as well. Um, but things are coming along. Uh, I think this floor is going to get put in. Um, relatively quickly and then I'm going to start putting up the sides and the one concern I have about that is um, I need to make sure I have enough enough uh, uh, screws to put put it up and secure it so we'll see how that turns out well I'm hoping to get a little closer to wrapping it up today we are installing the floor uh, this is two inch spacing that way the uh, chickens don't fall through and so that the crap does also that uh, predators don't come in so that's what's uh, so uh, integral about this uh, piece is um, that the manure from where they perch will uh, get down under the grass and that way um, I'm not having to clean out the floor and I want as little um, you know um, I don't know what they are, but as few joists and, and spaces that, that it can sit and uh, um, yeah, so just want it to fall through. Um, after I get the flooring in, I'm going to start to get the tin onto the sides and then lastly I'll put this fine door on and finish hooking up the uh, chicken door. This is an automatic door 
it will open up um, I think it's based on sunlight I, I'd like it to be opening up three hours after sunrise um, that kind of gives me time to get out into the uh, pasture to start to move this it also keeps the chickens close to where the nesting boxes are which are going to be on uh, the tall wall back here and uh, that way they're nesting and uh, laying eggs by in the morning you know that's that's when they lay the eggs most often and um, that way they're not out in pasture and I think um, this guy's probably gonna sit out with the chickens or I'm hoping that he will we'll see how it goes and that way he doesn't find little little treats to uh, snack on so I'll uh, show you one more time probably as it's getting wrapped up but uh, yeah we're getting close we are out on pasture today and uh, I skipped a couple of steps for you so we are just about wrapped up with this thing and now it's just troubleshooting and uh, working out any kinks that we have we got the flooring completed we got the um, paneling all done uh, we got it pulled out and on pasture um, last night I put all of the birds into the coop and we force them to stay in here overnight um, that way and a good amount of time here extra we gave them their water but uh, we're going to open up their door and then they're going to be able to um, get out and take a peek around and start pecking and scratching in the grass like they're supposed to be doing keeping flies down and larva down and um, nitrogen on the soil all that kind of good stuff so um, yeah hopefully hopefully one one day stuck in this or one evening and, and a good part of the first day here um, gives them uh, a little bit of comfort in um, knowing that this is their new home so I'm gonna put up the fencing around around the coop I'm gonna go put the energizer up to it and then uh, we'll see how they go and maybe I'll be able to show you one more video yet uh, one more piece of this before I close it up but, uh, yeah things are working so far That rooster is the leader. He's got the biggest spurs, he's the best protector. It's really his flock. The moment he's come out, lets everybody else with it. Or lets everybody else out with him. after dark to make sure everybody made it back in but uh, yeah it's about how it works hope you enjoyed subscribe below follow up with what we're doing know how your food's made it's important to us it's important to you we know it subscribe below